Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK, and welcome to my latest bread recipe. Before I get started on today's video, I apologise for being a few days late with this week's recipe. It was a perfect storm of my stove breaking down and a rather nasty chest infection. Anyway, I'm better now and I've had a new cooker fitted, so back up and running. And today's recipe is a recreation of my old English bloomer loaf. This bread is amazingly delicious and an absolute doddle to make. So I hope you enjoy this old English classic bread recipe. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. I'd also like to thank my Patreon, PayPal and Super Thank supporters for their very kind help in producing these tutorial videos. Your amazing financial support really helps with ever increasing equipment, ingredient and editing software costs. I'll be giving you all a name splash and shout out a little later in the video. Ok, let's get on with today's recipe. Ok, as always I'll start by testing that my yeast is alive and well. First add the sugar to the warm water and mix until dissolved. And now add your yeast to the water and give that a good mix too. Right, set that aside until it activates. If there's no change after 10 minutes your yeast must be dead and it needs replacing. Now, as my arthritic right hand is no better, once again I'm having to use my stand mixer. But there's already a no need bloomer recipe on the channel if you want to check that one out too. I'll leave a link in the description for it. Ok, it's 10 minutes later and as you can see my yeast is very active and ready to go. First off I'll add the liquid to the bowl. Next to go in is the softened butter. In goes the white bread flour. Finally add the salt. Now attach your dough hook and bring it all together. And if you don't have a machine this recipe is easily kneaded by hand as it's only a 57% hydration. And if you need to, scrape down the sides of the bowl with your bowl scraper. Once everything's combined, I'll knead the dough for 10 minutes. If you are mixing this by hand, add everything to a bowl. Mix it all together, turn it all out onto your worktop and hand knead the dough for at least 10 minutes until you have a nice smooth dough. Back to my mixer and this is what it looks like after 5 minutes. And while that's mixing, lightly grease a medium sized bowl with a little oil. And set it aside for now. And this is the baking tray I'll be using to bake this beautiful bloomer on. I'm giving this a light coat of butter. We do have these heavy duty carbon steel trays in the shop if you're interested. Properly looked after, these trays will last you for donkey's years. And there you go, after 10 minutes the kneading is done. Right, whether you've hand kneaded or machine kneaded your dough, get the dough onto a non-floured surface. Form the dough into a bowl. Now add the dough bowl to the bowl you greased earlier. Cover the bowl, I like to use the shower cap for mine and these are available in different patterns and colours in the website shop if you're interested. Now get the bowl into a nice warm spot, I like to use the oven with just the light bulb on. Whichever warm spot you're keeping your dough in, allow it to proof for one hour. Beep. 
Right, time's up on the first proof. As you can see, it's risen nicely under the light bulb in my oven. And if yours is going slower, just give it a bit more time. It should at least double in size before moving on to the next stage. Right, knock it back and roughly form it into a flat square. Fold the sides in as shown. Now, starting at the top, roll it back towards you, tucking in the ends as you go. Once you reach the end, turn it over and nip the seam together with your fingers. Now form it into a neat oval shape. It's okay if you spend a little time on this, just make sure you get the right shape. Now place it in the middle of the baking tray. Sprinkle on a little flour. Now cover it with a lightweight dry cloth. Alright, now get that into a warm draft free spot. In my case, back in the oven with just the light bulb on. Now let it proof for 45 minutes. When there's only approximately 10 minutes left on the final proof, you need to preheat your oven. Which means I'll have to let mine finish proofing on the bench for the last 10 minutes. So, while mine finishes off proofing on the bench, I preheat my oven to 190 Celsius, that's 375 Fahrenheit, or gas mark 5. And to make the top of this bloomer even crispier, I'm placing a pan of hot water on the bottom shelf of the oven. And if you didn't know, the steam produced from the hot water is what makes your bread crispy. Right, time's up on this second proof. And it's looking fantastic. What we have to do now is score the dough. Scoring is necessary so the bread can expand or spring in the oven. So, using your lame or lamb or baker's blade, make five evenly spaced cuts across the dough. For aesthetic reasons, I'm adding a slight elongated S shape to mine. But, if you don't like being creative, straight cuts is fine too. Score the ends in the middle first, then fill in the other two as shown. And that should keep your spaces between the scores even. And to get it right and at the right depth, about one centimetre or half an inch, take your time with this. And there you go, that's ready to go into the preheated oven. Once it's in the oven, give the oven a quick spray with water. This will make the finished bread even crispier. Sorry about the camera steaming up, I wasn't paying attention. Bad John. And once it's in, set your timer for 30 minutes. And while that's baking, I hope you don't mind if I give my four recipe books a quick shout out. The books have lots of our favourite recipes from our work kitchens in them. And also, book four in this series is totally dedicated to bread recipes. Also, the skeleton style oven gloves, now supporting our company name, are also available too. Just check out the link in the description box to our website store if you're interested in any of these items. Okay, time's up on this fantastic Old English bloomer. And it's looking gorgeous. And the aroma this thing's kicking out is fantastic. The smell of baking bread never ever gets old. Now, if you want a harder or darker crust on yours, just give it an extra 10 minutes. But this is perfect for us. Right, I'll let that cool off on a wire rack. And when I come back, I'll cut a couple of slices off. Okay, it's been cooling for about 15 minutes and I can't wait any longer. Time to give this beauty a try. 
And as you can hear, it's nice and crispy on the outside. And the cloves crumb on the inside is soft and light. Perfect for sandwiches. Okay, a good helping of my homemade butter. And just listen to that crunch. Absolutely delicious, guys. And I know I use my fancy mixer because of my wonky hand, but all you need to make this beautiful bread is a bowl, a baking tray, and some basic ingredients. Fantastic recipe, relatively quick, simple, cheap, and delicious. What's not to like? And as always, a big thumbs up for another great bread recipe, guys. And as promised at the beginning of the video, here is the latest list of my Patreon, PayPal, and Super Thank You button supporters. And they are... Guy St. Hilary, Dan Calgaro, Rebecca D, Paul Howes, Oliver, Spa Diva, Doug, Tracy Phillips, Colleen Jackson, Peter, John Baker, 3D Allison, Diddley Penguin, Tron Bunny, Vicky Ann, Painting with Oils, Jens K3250, David Geek 4701, and 175726. And there's also one who wishes to remain anonymous. Thanks very much guys, I really do appreciate all that you do in supporting the channel. Well thank you again for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in your kitchen and bye for now.